Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Lubu. I'm Lubu and I'm here to teach you uh, how to make a spinning pile driver. This is a special sandwich I've put together that's going to just put your uh, hunger in a chokehold and slam it up on the ground upside down Zangief style. We all know Zangief, number one champion in Street Fighter, uh, best character ever. Uh, we all know his moves, Lariat, Vanishing Flat. Uh, Spinning pile driver, obviously the best. Uh, and I'm going to go into uh, my, my meal of the day, which is the spinning pile driver. Uh, as you can see from my ingredients here, uh, I've got waffles. You may not be able to see this. Waffles, uh, sausage links, bacon. I've got a little creme fraiche. Uh, I've got six eggs that I've already whipped and, and butter. And I'm going to be using that to simultaneously make my eggs and my sausage links. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some gloves and put some gloves on here. Because I forgot to do this before we started. Now this is uh, this will be my first video Street Fighter meal. Not, not my first one I've made. I did a Psycho Crusher for uh, my friend A Striker a few months back, which is a chili cheese hot dog, and maybe I'll do a video for that one. But this is the spinning pile driver, and this is a crazy, crazy breakfast for dinner sandwich and you're gonna love it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sausage links. I've got five sausage links here. I'm gonna throw these in my pan. My pans are already heated up to medium heat. Uh, you wanna keep it at medium heat, you get a nice thorough cook through there. It'll take a little bit longer, but uh, it'll be cooked all the way through much better. And at the same time, it's not gonna cook so fast as to get uh, out of control. And at the same time, uh, I'm gonna put my eggs uh, in the pan uh, on the same exact temperature and I'm gonna let that cook up too. Get that going. Now, uh, my eggs recipe here that I'm going to be using uh, is actually Gordon Ramsay's scrambled eggs recipe. Uh, if you're familiar with him, that man knows his way around a kitchen. Uh, he also knows how to make some really good scrambled eggs, and so I rely on his recipe uh, for it, and that's good. So uh, you're going to want to keep an eye on the scrambled eggs um, because as soon as they start clumping up. What you're going to do, and I need to throw the, the butter in there, whoops, I'm going to put my butter in there too, I'm all over this today, throw my butter in there, let that cook in, let that melt into the eggs, keeps them from sticking to the pan as much, and you can see that that's clumping up already uh, really fast, so I may have my temperature up just a little bit too much. You know, adjust fire as need be. Don't always just like blindly follow a recipe. You need to be ready to make changes if things are changing because every oven stove, every range, everything is different. And you always need to be able to uh, change on the fly if something changes for you. So that's clumping up. I'm going to take my cream fr creme fraiche. You can get this at most, uh, most grocery stores. Take a, about a tablespoon of that. Pop that in there. That's all you need for six eggs. And six eggs will feed you about three normal sized human beings or one Zangief. Uh, so six eggs per Zangief. Make sure you're using chicken eggs, not robin eggs. You don't want to crush these like robin eggs, like Zangief would between his thighs. That's how he rolls. So we got these cooking here. I'm going to move my sausage links. Check the other side of them. They're going to be browning up as they cook. That's good. For those of you who aren't familiar, I love Zangief. I have cosplayed as Zangief before. Uh, I consider him to be one of the best characters that Capcom has ever come up with. Uh, oh, Zangief. He's just great. Uh, his abilities are fun. His moveset's fun. His attacks force uh, your opponent to work around you uh, while remaining, you know, slow, but more methodical, I feel. Everything, everything counts for more when you play as Zangief. If, if you're Ryu, you can just fuh, Hadouken, 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 Hadouken. You shoot a thousand Hadoukens. None of them really feel that important in my opinion. But if I get one spinning pile driver on you, that's it. That's a game. And then it just start the mix up, start the footsies. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's the way we do. So I'm going to cook this up. Keep my sausage going. Oh. 
And I'm going to add my bacon to my pan with my sausage because I only have about five links here and five strips of bacon. So that can actually pretty much cook together in the same pan. Not a big deal. Uh, I cooked the bacon up a little bit earlier just to speed up the process here. Uh, so that's why I'm able to do that. Now the eggs you see are starting to really kind of form up, uh, lose a lot of their liquidness. Uh, the thing you want to watch for, watch for is um, that you want to make sure that you pull the eggs off of the direct heat before they are completely cooked. Um, the reason you do that is because eggs will continue to cook as in the heat that they have already been surrounded in and absorbed. And so if you, if you wait for them to be dry in the pan, they're actually going to be overcooked when you put them on a plate. And that's gross and nasty. Nobody wants to eat that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure to pay attention to where my eggs are at. Now, if you are from, not familiar, because you might be the first time watching my show or n hearing about me, uh, I am Chef Lubu. I, I work here at Battle and Brew in Atlanta, Georgia. We are a video game bar. Uh, we have Street Fighter uh, tournaments. We have Ultimate Marvel's Capcom tournaments. We have Tekken tournaments. We have uh, all of that. We've got, we've got streamed live uh, tournaments on, on our televisions. Uh, and so if you, if you love fighting games, if you love StarCraft, if you love League of Legends, if you love anything, whatever you love, Please come in and, and check us out if you're in the Atlanta area. We're going to be at Final Round coming up. Final Round we love. Uh, and we really, you know, throw out to our, our community, our fighting game communities. So please come talk to us. We'll be talking to you probably if you're there. And uh, it'll be awesome. And, you know, if you come up to the bar, you know, and I got some eggs and I got some sausage and bacon laying around, I might be able to make you a spinning pie driver. I ain't promising nothing just yet. But it could happen. It is possible that could happen. So I got this cooking, and these eggs are almost done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my fridge right here, which y'all can't see. Just keep it out of sight. And I'm going to get some cheese. All right, all right. You can use whatever cheese you like. I'm just going to use some American cheese for now. Kind of a, kind of a. Uh, Slap in the face of Zangief, unfortunately. American cheese in my Russian breakfast dinner meal waffle combo. So, that's cool. I got these cooking up. Let these go. Kind of mix that cheese in there with them. Get that heat on there. And again, pay attention to your eggs. When they start drying out, you need to take them off the heat. You're, you may be too late already. You just want them to be that perfect little bit of moisture in there. Make sure they're already cooked all the way through. Flip them over, mix them around. Get a good, good look at them. And that'll let you know when they're going to be done and when you need to pull them off the heat. And mine are there. It's like waiting for the right time to throw a tech throw or the right time, you know, throw in that, uh, that wake up game. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to your food. Food and fighting games are a lot alike. Real easy if you can do it. If you're good at one, I think you can be good at the other, honestly, uh, because it takes the same sort of patience. Same so you're not trying to psych anybody out, but you need to be you need to be aware of what's going on. You need to have that level of attentiveness that comes with playing and fighting games. Maybe not Marvel's Capcom. Nah, I'm just playing. So we got my bacon and my sausage cooking up here. I got waffles. I got two waffles. They're gonna replace my bread. Uh, I'm gonna just, these are Eggo waffles. You can always make your own waffles. I'm not against making your own waffles. I'm not gonna make my own waffles today. This is already a fairly work intensive episode. I'm not trying to get into all that. If you want to make your own waffles, go ahead. Just understand that waffle making is messy and it requires a lot of time. And if you work in a commercial restaurant, it's much more difficult unless that restaurant is in fact Waffle House. So. As these sausages finish up, I'm going to get my, my plate here. Mm, mm, mm. All right. And I got my plate, and I'm out of space. I'm going to take one of my waffles. Take my waffle right there. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this bacon here. I'm going to put this bacon on the base. Um, because there is a little moisture in the eggs, if you put them directly on top of the waffle, you may end up over moisturizing your waffle and your waffle falls apart. And then your bread's not any good. And I'm going to take my eggs here. You can see the eggs. I'm going to take my eggs here. I'm going to scoop these eggs on top. 
just like that boom that's good looking put that over there now for me personally I like a little spice so I'm gonna take some chipotle chili pepper a little red little uh, little, <laughs> little little red there and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there Zangief would approve he would be all quarter sure or much more excited much more excited check on these sausages I want to check and make sure I, if you don't have an internal thermometer what you want to do is you just cut open one of the sausage links and, and check the inside of it and if it's still pink on the inside then you know that they're not quite done yet but these are looking perfect they are all sorts of good to go so I'm gonna get my tongs here I'm gonna take them I'm gonna put them on there boom one two three three is probably a good number that's a depending upon the size of the waffle if you got a bigger waffle you know you can go four five six or seven eight nine ten the sky is the limit and there it is that is a spinning pile driver breakfast dinner sandwich all about some Zangief this one here there, there's no light punch there there's no getting up there's no walking away that's 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 at least 80% of your health bar right there. I'm going to give me a little bit of this. Take this bad boy right here. Mm. And that's it. This is Cooking with Lubu. Quarter show! Alright, so that was the uh, that was the spinning pile driver. That's the number one Number one Zangief sandwich in A. Uh, feel free to get you one. Uh, make it yourself. It's delicious. I Trust me. I love it. Uh, I am Chef Lubu. This is my YouTube channel. I make video game themed food. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Chef Lubu. You can find Battle and Brew at Battle and Brew. Uh, my boss and cameraman is B&B Greg. And check out all of our stuff on YouTube. Our Battle and Brew YouTube channel is also phenomenal. Uh, we've got great... Uh, stream videos from our tournaments. Uh, our stream guy for fighting a community is Funky P. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Funky P or at Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Funky P, I believe. So yeah, check us out, man. This is my uh, this is my first fighting game video for y'all. I'm sure there'll be more to come. Uh, look for me at Final Round. I'll be looking for y'all. Have a good one.